What is up, YouTube? So I picked up two cigars and an ounce of black cherry pipe tobacco. And, um, well, I was taking a stroll with my newly acquired Cobra Cane. And uh, I noticed that the head was a little wobbly. And uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm walking around with it, and I noticed that the eyes glittered and like a gem. The eyes look like gems in the sunlight. That's kind of cool. But check this out. You see that right there? Yeah. That happened. Now you see the hole right there? What I want to do is I want to take some tin foil and I want to block that hole on the inside. And once that hole on the inside of the Cobra Cane head is blocked, I want to fill it with some Gorilla Glue that dries clear. Yes. This stuff right here. See right there how it says clear Gorilla Glue. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. This is, um... Yeah, it says clear. It says clear Gorilla Glue. It dries clear. Good for uh, metal, wood, stone. All right. This only means that I'll have to wait a couple of days for my cane to dry before I can use it again, which is totally worth it. And then once I get done gluing the head back on, I'm gonna re repaint the caning all of it's gonna be re repainted black. And then once the black dries, I'm gonna do two different shades of green. I'm gonna do the, the lighter green going down this way. Let that dry. And then do a darker green right here in this general area. So it'll look cool when it's done. Um, what are you gonna do? You know, shit happens, otherwise we wouldn't poop, right? Um, but I figure this should be an easy enough fix, YouTube. So I'm going to take a little sheet of tin foil paper here, just like that. And I'm going to fold it up. So that I can basically push it down in there over that hole just like that. That way I can fill it up with Gorilla Glue. Now next I'm going to take my all-purpose Gorilla Glue that dries clear and uh, fill this son of a bitch up. Although it might be, uh, this son of a bitch might be clogged. Hold on a second. Sometimes if you're not careful, your uh, Gorilla Glue dries on the inside of that lid and you can't squeeze it out. It's not coming out. Fuck. All right. I'll take the lid off and just pour it in there, I guess. Oh, fucking hell. 
There we go. The fucker was on there tight. Okay. Go ahead and take that off. And be very careful with Gorilla Glue. This shit is a nightmare to get off your hands. You know, the thing about the thing about any glue really is that you, you get glue on your fingers or hands or whatever. And it's a guaranteed that Oh, fucking hell, it's really stuck in there, isn't it? Okay. I don't know why. Like, the glue dried on the... in it so badly that it literally... I don't know, YouTube. I just cut that little bit off right there, just like that. And I'm going to try to uh, go like that. We have glue. All right. And that's the thing about Gorilla Glue when the damn thing, uh, yeah. When the glue dries on the inside of the lid, it doesn't uh, want to crack open. Okay, now we can. Squeeze a bunch of that Gorilla Glue in there. Oops. Try not to get any on the outside. Just want all this glue to be on the inside. There we go, that crevice is full. One last second, I'm gonna do this over the trash can. I should do it to YouTube. I got it the cobra head back back on there. I'm gonna take it, uh, twist it on there nice and tight, and take and wipe all this glue off right here. And then yeah, get all the glue off the polished silver or not silver I mean pewter excuse me yeah get all the all the glue off the polished pewter here there we go awesome all right so that should do it um I'm not gonna be able to walk around with it until it dries. 
So the best thing for me to do would be to stick it on the vice clamp until it dries. There's a sit and we should be golden But good. Now that we got all that nonsense out of the way, got the Cobra Kane's head glued on there. Let that glue dry. And when Gorilla Glue dries, to to its fullest extent. Let me tell you, YouTube, Gorilla Glue is some tough shit. So, uh, yeah, I'm in the process of remaking that a little bit so that hopefully in the near future it doesn't come off. All right. So what do we got for cigars? Got the window open. We're good to go. Um... Well, I went to the uh, Ash Cigar Store and uh, hold on one second. I got And well, right after I went to the Ash Cigar Store, I picked up 
a, uh, like I said, big old bag of black cherry pipe tobacco. This is one ounce of pipe tobacco exactly. Mm. And then of course I picked up two cigars. The classics are always fun, you know, always delicious. We got we got a black cherry. This this right here is a black cherry delicioso robusto. I've had these before, these are delicious. But a cigar that I have not tried yet, it's this one. This one right here. <coughs> oh yeah. So check this out YouTube. I was checking out reallovesexdolls.com and they came out with a new head and holy shit. <laughs> Head number 108 would look really attractive. They both either, you know what I'm saying, like... But that's a decision I can make when I save up $2,000. This right here is a cigar called The up setter and um it smells really good it smells like a really good cigar mm, there's so many flavors coming off of that i don't even know but we're gonna grab our trusty cigar cutter here and um this one is just a little bit more round and a little bit thicker than this one. Notice that these two are the same exact length. But this one is just a little bit thicker in circumference. And I'm always down to try new cigars. Being a tobacco connoisseur. Now with cigars that you have to cut, you notice right there you see there's a line that surrounds the entire cap. You want to cut before that line. Just like that. Leave like half the cap on there. Look at that cut this much off. That cut job wasn't too bad either. That was nice and even. Hell yeah. And uh, you, there's several things you can use to light a cigar. You can use a Zippo. You can use... Normally I'd use Zippos, but I'm out of fluid and I need wicks. And if possibly flint. You can use matches, but you can also use a standard Bic lighter. I happen to have in my possession a uh, Playboy Bunny big lighter, and that's what's up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast it real quick. Very lightly toasted it. Very lightly, to very, very lightly toasted the front end here. Let's see how I did for the cut on the draw. Whoa. Holy shit. Mmm. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. The dry puff on that. Mmm. 
the dry puff on that. That's fucking delicious. You know, I'm, I'm smelling this cigar, and like, oh, it smells like a, a pretty good cigar. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what to expect of it, and then I, I take a dry puff on it. And it's like, oh, that's delicious. And without further ado, we can spark that song, bitch, up. See how this cigar do. Oh. Oh, YouTube. I'm liking these. Holy shit, that's good. Right there, there's the label. The <clears throat> you know, these are called the um the upsetters. Yep, these are upsetters. The upsetters cigars. And you know, the the label kind of caught me by surprise because you got Rasta colors going up and down, and I'm just like, hmm. And uh, I was checking out the upsetters, huh? Hmm. All right, give this cigar a try. And of course, you can see the back of it has tobacco in it, so it's it's a tobacco cigar. It's not, it's not a can of gar. It's not a huge ass blunt, you know. But could you imagine if you had a blunt that big? That'd be insane. Mmm. I think I might have just found a new favorite cigar. That is decadent. There really is no way to describe the flavor of this cigar. There's so many different flavors. There's so many different flavors going into it at once that, you know, it really is kind of, kind of hard to uh, describe. Yeah. Well, I hope I grabbed my clear drying Gorilla Glue and not the unclear shit. If it doesn't dry clear, that's all right. I can always scrape off the dry glue around the outer rim of it. The point being, YouTube, is that this uh, this cane's not going to be coming apart. That cane's not going to be coming apart anytime soon when that when that glue's done drying. Also, I found out that they're gonna reopen. They're gonna reopen the Cigar Rialto next year. I think uh, I think Nell's wife might be doing it, if I'm not mistaken, or someone in Nell's family, if I'm not mistaken. Which I think that's cool. You know, we'll have two awesome cigar shops downtown. You know. And I'm glad I picked up this cigar from the Ash from the Ash Cigar Store. This is a really, really good cigar. I'm really liking this flavor. The aroma coming off of it is, um, it definitely smells like a cigar, but it's not like overpowering to a degree. It's got a pleasantness to it. Right now, I'm still uploading the um, 
the unboxing video for my Cobra King and um, walking around town with it you know noticed that it was a little wobbly and I unscrewed the head completely and it came off and I was just like oh, you know what this is an easy enough fix Gorilla Glue fixes just about damn near everything and the bottle said and I quote the bottle said and I quote fixes it binds wood and metal and stone and clay so I kind of figured yeah yeah But the uh, Cobra Kane unboxing video definitely ended up being over an hour long. And, um, well, you know, I don't think my fans mind the hour long videos too much. Some of my fans, believe it or not, fuck us a really good cigar. Nice, slow burning. And look at that. I got a nice, pretty much a nice even light on that ash. There we go. The perfect cut. And look at that. Look at that, YouTube. Look at that. I cut that cigar perfect. Like, literally, half the cap is still on. And I lit it and the ash on it is nice and evenly round. See that? Yeah. This is how you enjoy your cigars, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you perfectly light and cut a cigar. The flavor off of it, it just, it, there's so many flavors going into it and each flavor is just hard to, just, to uh, describe. But I like it. I don't know what it is in this cigar, but I like it. It's good. It's a good cigar. They had a size of this cigar in a much smaller size, but I like the uh, nice thick cigars like this. You know, they uh, make you feel like a mobster or, a mobster or some shit. Like, hey, you wish guys. Hey, you guys, have these fucking haters, fucking haters, sleeping with the fishes. Forget about it. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this cigar, YouTube. This is beyond fucking delicious. What up? What's up, brother? Hey, can me and Bill come in? Yeah, man. Yeah, all right, we'll meet you at the back door, bro. All right, see you here in a bit. But yeah, I want to cut this video short because I got friends coming over to hang out. So I'll catch you cool cobras later, YouTube.